Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to a, another little uh, time of devotional thought and study together. Let's bow our heads as we begin. Father in heaven, Lord, be with us this evening. Send your spirit to guide us, to direct us, to speak to us, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Rewarding meekness, what exactly does that mean? Matthew chapter five, verse five says, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. There's the long and the short of it. Rewarding meekness is a meekness that allows you to one day inherit the earth. Not the earth that is as it is now, but the earth made new the way it was originally intended in Eden. That is something I look forward to and I hope you do as well. Uh, let's shed a little more light on this as we read from Thoughts from the Mount of Blessings, page 15. Human nature is ever struggling for expression, ready for conquest, but he who learns of Christ is emptied of self, of pride and of self-supremacy, and there is silence in the soul. If your soul has been troubled or vexed lately, if you've been struggling to find that peace, then you would really want silence in your soul, a silence that only comes from someone who is completely surrendered to Jesus, someone who is listening to the Spirit speak, someone who has emptied themselves of pride and of love for supremacy. Self is yielded to the disposal of the Holy Spirit. Then we are not anxious to have the highest place. We have no ambition to crowd or elbow ourselves into notice. But we feel that our highest place, our greatest aim, our greatest goal is sitting at the feet of Jesus. We look to Jesus, waiting for his hand to lead, listening for his voice to guide us. Thoughts from the Mount of Blessing, page 15. There is no happier place in life than knowing you are in harmony with God in all you do. This harmony exists only when Jesus is sought after continually. Only when the exaltation of self is abandoned. Recognizing that the sinful heart is deceitfully wicked above all things and desperately sick. Jeremiah 17, 9. Humility seeks meekness. Humility, meekness, is the key to letting the Holy Spirit develop in you a truly beautiful Christ-like character. Let me read that paragraph one more, or that sentence one more time. Humility, Meekness is the key to letting the Holy Spirit develop in you a truly beautiful Christ-like character. Will you ask Jesus to take away your prideful desires, your self-centered ambitions, your love of supremacy? Will you ask him to replace them by enabling you to practice gentleness, meekness, and humility and will you ask him to help you start today? Start right now at this very moment. Some things we want to pray about today. Obviously, we want to pray that Jesus will help you to become humble and meek. Remember, he must increase and I must decrease. We want to pray for the members in Uganda who have been affected by recent flooding. The flash floods have left many houses destroyed and many are now homeless and still in the midst of a lockdown. Pray for Adventist teachers around the world who are facing financial difficulty due to a lack of being able to complete do their jobs. And lastly, pray for our young people to realize the importance of serving God and not the world. So important. I have five children. I pray every day that they will seek God first and recognize that when they do, all the other things are added unto them, but seek God first. Let's bow our heads just now and seek him. Father in heaven, Lord, be with us this evening. Bless us this evening and be with us. 
I pray you'll be with me and give me and the board members wisdom as we contemplate uh, how, or if it is even possible, or how we can have our church be open safely during this time of pandemic. Uh, Lord, we pray for other churches that are in the valley of that very same decision. We want to feed the needs of those in our flock, Lord, and we want to spiritually feed them and also be able to take care of whatever needs may arise. So show us your plan for our church in Lacombe and for other churches that are going through this just now as well. Lord, I pray you'll be with each and every person here who is, is going to pray this evening for meekness and humbleness of spirit so that you may increase in our lives. Lord, this is our hope and this is our wish. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Well, folks, blessings and have a wonderful rest of your evening.